Basic Auth is a very common API, REST API development practice made by developers in order to help boost the cybersecurity inside of a REST API. Today we will be exploring how uh, Basic Authentication works and implementing it into a Flask REST API. With base, without Basic Authentication, hackers who would know your API key can easily access your REST API via a browser, making it dangerous and have no security whatsoever. However, with the basic authentication, you will be prompted to have a username and a password. And if you get that wrong, then the hacker will be kicked out. Now, let's jump into the code. The first thing that we're going to do is import all of our libraries. So the first, the main libraries that we will need to have installed are Flask, uh, JSONify, the Flask RESTful API, as well as Flask HTTP auth, which is simply a fork of Flask that is meant for uh, that is simply meant for the uh, HTTP authentication via basic auth. The next thing we're going to do is create instantiations of app of the app API and the authentication. This can simply be done using these three lines of code. So the app instantiates Flask. The API instantiates an API of Flask, and the auth instantiates HTTP basic auth. The next thing that we're going to want to do is create a dictionary. This dictionary will hold our username and our password. The next thing that we're going to want to do is create a static method. Uh, or no, not a static me method, but we're going to want to create a simple authentication method that's going to be uh, called verify password. So this is how they're written. You would go at auth.verifyPassword, and then you create a function for that, so verify, which has a given username and password. If the two of them are existent inside of the user data, we would return false. Otherwise, we would simply just return true. The next thing that we're going to want to do is create our API endpoint. Uh, for the sake of this project, let's just call it uh, endpoint, so add a resource endpoint. The next thing we're going to want to do is create a class for the endpoint. Uh, and inside of this class, we're going to first of all have the seed resource, and it's going to return a status of true and via JSONify. If the, but before that, we will also have a required login required. So basically, what happens in the compiler is that it calls upon the endpoint function or class, then it goes on to the login required, which will then figure out. If, uh, which will then go to the uh, verify password, and then it will grab the user password, or it will ask for the username and password, and then check if that's correct. If so, it will simply return true. Now let's just run this via the, via um, on the 5000 port, and let's just try this out. Okay, let's just open up a browser. Uh, okay. So I have a browser here, and let's just go slash endpoint. As you can see, we've been prompted to do a sign-in. So uh, username, what was our username and password? Um, user, yeah, okay, and password. Password. And then I can just simply sign in, and as you can see, it returns a status of true. So that's how you do simple basic authentication with your Flask REST APIs. Now, if you were to do a simple GET request or a POST request via another machine, you would have to specify the authorization headers. For that, I suggest you looking up how to do that for every language you have. And it's a very simple uh, solution. Uh, using basic authentication is a very good API practice and makes you stand out as a developer. 